welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby! Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Brutalier, and today we are going to be talking about wardrobe essentials, and we are breaking it down into five categories slash items, if you will. A couple of them, I, I have a little, couple of little extra items, so it's more than five items, but sort of categories just giving you guys a good idea of things you should invest in i thought about making this like a winter based thing but um it's kind of just year round sort of sort of thing kind of maybe i don't know we're gonna get into the items in just a moment um but if you're new here hi welcome subscribe to the channel and hit the push notification bell as well so you know when the next video will be and if you're returning as always thank you you are uh an appreciated part of the Mark Bertelier family. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get into it. The first category is going to be jeans, denim. Why is why are jeans an essential, you may ask? I feel like it's just the most like easy, versatile pant you can kind of, you know, go with. Maybe black pants would also be on that list, which I probably could have included in this, but we're we're keeping it to five, okay? Jeans are definitely the most durable option as well when it comes to pants. This particular pair is from 316. I believe, I don't remember what the actual name of them are, but they're like the classic straight fit one, and they have held up super nicely. This is a pair of raw denim, so obviously if that's not your thing, you can just go with something regular, or, you know, if there's a different shade or whatever, you can go for that as well. I would recommend a pair of raw denim. They'll probably last you a bit longer if you're taking care of them and whatnot. I would recommend looking at websites like Self Edge or Blue and Green, or if you're in New York, you can literally just go to either one of those stores. Different brands, 316, you could check out like Oni, you could check out, I don't know. You can, you, you can figure it out. There's, you can't really go too wrong in the world of raw denim. You can, but um, not if you're on those websites. If you're on those websites, they're all pretty good. Warehouse & Co., Full Count & Co., any of those will get you right. So next up, next category here, we have T-shirts, base layers in general are going to be very important for you, whether it be, whether you're a tank top guy, whether you're a crew neck guy, don't be a v-neck guy. So this one right here is just a black t-shirt from a brand called Adapture. They are based out of Canada. Yeah, just a really great t-shirt, good boxy fits, a nice weight to it. I wear this on like a weekly basis. I would highly recommend sort of investing in t-shirts as, you know, typically it is something you wear all the time. It seems silly, like why would I... Why would I spend money on a blank t-shirt? Why wouldn't you is the question. Why wouldn't you? If you're gonna wear it all the time, you may as well wear something that's top notch. Here's another t-shirt. This is a thermal, which is a little bit more of a winterized version, if you will. Definitely an essential when it gets cold as it sticks tight to your body. It keeps you nice and warm, nice and nice and thick too. This one's from Lady White Co., which I also highly recommend. I have talked about them on this channel before. But if you're not familiar, I would definitely check them out. Other places you can look for t-shirts, there's like Rue Porter, LA Apparel, those are all gonna be like pretty thick. Or again, both Self Edge and Blue and Green will have like a lot of like thicker cotton materials in general. So like whether it be t-shirts or anything, all their stuff is like super intense quality. So I'd recommend looking at any of those options. We will continue though. So the next one is gonna be like sweatshirts slash hoodies. We're getting into kind of a theme here. This is another item that, uh, this one came from Blue and Green actually. Brand is Whitesville. I'm not sure if I've, I've showed this on the channel before. Yeah, I got it in New York and I think it was in my New York like pickup video last time. Perfect little black hoodie, zip up or whatever. A lot of people don't like zip ups, but I think this is like, the best version of. To be honest, I've contemplated getting rid of all of my other like black sweatshirts and hoodies just simply because this one's my favorite. It features this full like thermal lining in it, which is like super warm. It's like very heavy as well. The zipper like locks into place, which I think is like kind of an interesting detail. What I mean by that is if you're like zipping it up, you'll see that the zipper is facing up. But once you like put it in like the downward position, you got it locked into place. You can't you can't zip it down while the zipper is down, if that makes sense. It didn't. It's just a super good hoodie. It definitely was like a little more than what I would like typically spend on a sweatshirt or hoodie. But at the same time, in 2016, 2017, I had no issue justifying $150, $200 Supreme hoodie. So what's the difference, you know? Here is the other one I wanted to show as well, though. Supporting the homies. It is this hoodie from Adam Small. I get asked about this 
literally all the time at this point because I keep wearing it. Half the people think that it's the Kanye 2020 hoodie, which I will tell you that this is a much different cut, just a similar color and an oversized hoodie, but it is a, a very different cut. You can see how just boxy it is. I want to say the Kanye 2020 hoodie was just on an LA apparel, if I'm not mistaken, but Adam puts a lot of time and effort into these. He got this one manufactured actually, but the hoodie itself he made like the original pattern for it. But I think the color is just spot on. The oversized hood is not is pretty great as well. The weight of this pretty much stacks up with any of those other hoodie brands. I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. I've been wearing this thing like nonstop as if I don't own any other hoodies. I believe they're all sold out at the moment. Stay tuned, maybe he'll restock them. I'm not really sure. I think we're on to number five at this point. Or wait, no, we're on to number four. I'm sorry, number four. This is gonna be very broad. The fourth essential is going to be Leather footwear, this could be boots, this could be derbies, this could be really anything. I do think a derby or boot will probably be the most versatile. Again, I wanted to show this pair of pair of boots simply because the theme here is like quality, longevity, versatility, and I feel like this kind of embodies all those things. The leather on these is like phenomenal, I guess. They're kind of built to last a lifetime. I've been wearing them a lot. They smell super nice. I can smell the leather. It's like it's nice. You could even buy like used pairs, get them a little bit beat because I mean they're gonna get beat either way. Other suggestions I may add in terms of boots, I definitely would like the, my little 80s Ortega boots. I wear them all the time. I didn't want to show them again because I simply have just been showing them too much. Or you can go for like a westerny boot. You can go for it's like a casual like combat boot. Really there's a multitude of options. If you guys want like a boot video or something, let me know because it seems like that's something that I'm constantly asked both here and on TikTok. So if you want that, whether it be a collection or me just giving suggestions, leave a comment. Let's get on to the last and final category, which is another very broad spectrum, and it is going to be accessories. Accessories can be anything from bags to belts to jewelry to, you could put jewelry in its own category if you wanted to, hats, scarves, literally anything. I wanted to show off a belt as well as a bag, but in general, I think accessories are just kind of what puts the, the cherry on top, if you will, and that's why I would consider it an essential. You can take a, an outfit that's otherwise bland and really spice it up with just a few, a few little accessories. So first up, I wanted to show this bag. It is from High Fashion Talk. It is their universal bag, and it is great. They graciously sent me this as well as a cute little note, which was appreciated. <laughs> There's a little something on this bag. I just love how both large this bag is and also how large the strap is. A lot of like tote bags, I find it kind of difficult to carry them if you're like bundled up. But if you're wearing like a super heavy like top coat or jacket, sweatshirt or anything, get the easy crossbody, plenty of space on it. It just works perfectly. It's like the perfect add-on, the perfect little sling. It's a great color. You can't really go too wrong with it. I've worn it a few times already, and I've only had it for like maybe a week. I think bags, whether it be a leather one, whether it be a crossbody, whether you want to just go with the tote, it's a good little, good little add-on. It's also a good opportunity to add like a, a splash of color if you want. But I wanted to show this belt as well. I got this at the Nepenthe store in New York. Brand is Tori. I just thought it was a nice black belt, and I wear it all the time, so that's why I would consider it an essential. I did make a TikTok video actually just earlier today about like belt recommendations. I didn't didn't include this one. It's a good one. If you guys want a belt video, I mean that's it's kind of a I don't know. I feel like that would be a super boring video. No no belt video. Anyways, that is my five essentials. I realize this doesn't necessarily cover everything because, you know, in the book of these five essentials, you would be going commando, sockless. You'd be you'd be missing out on some components, you know? Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of the items. If you guys have any other suggestions for any of these things, do share them as well. Or if you want to talk more in depth about all this stuff, feel free to jump in my Discord where we talk fashion and fit picks and food sports teams video games which i don't participate in that all 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 that stuff so fun times but that's about it that's going to wrap this one up thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being here until next time bye